just saying, I can't let these dudes lie. This is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like, what are you talking about? Steve Harvey is on the chopping block. Lord have mercy. It seems as if the truth is most definitely flowing out there. And Lord have mercy, if you are not on the side of the truth, you are about to go to hellfire. <laughs> In a handbasket. In the handbasket. Lord have mercy. <laughs> hey, man, thank you for joining our show. This is the real people of the Internet. My name is X, and my co-host's name is Z. Z. <laughs> Shouts out to Z, man. No doubt, we are most definitely back at you. She's been on a hiatus. She's been from Dubai to Central Pay to South Africa, and now she's back here at the studio. <laughs> no, yay. I love being at the studio. Yeah, yeah. everybody loves... You're the best, Dex. Dude, everybody loves your opinion and what you have to add to our show. Aww. And uh, yeah, I always want you to be uplifted in the times that we have now because you got to understand, Z. There is no show without you. Lord have mercy. Aw, X, you're so sweet. Thank you. Lord have mercy. <laughs> but getting up to your man, uh, uh, getting up to your, uh, I'm, I want to add this piece, man, because we have to start to start to unpack what's really going on here with these truth sayers, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to put out there to y'all, man, that when you're unpacking who's telling the truth. Even though you might not know the full story, you never want to cast judgment until you do. Because what ends up happening, there's a, there's a social status quo, right? Mm -hmm. That people socially are supposed to be in these boxes. And if they're not in these boxes, there's something going on. Meaning, what am I saying? Meaning, you're supposed to tell the truth. If you're, you know, if you tell your uh, significant other, hey, I'm going down to the to the grocery store or down to McDonald's to get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Instead, you went to the strip club. <laughs> so you're saying there's like a code of honor. You should be honest with people. Yeah, man, okay. you should most definitely be honest, dude. I mean, but everybody else around them said, oh, no, I saw him at the McDonald's. He should be there. We're going to get this stuff. And but I'm like. But his wife is like, hey, man, I got the receipts of the strip club. Right. I got the credit card bill. <laughs> and then the people are saying, no, I saw him down at McDonald's. Right. I was like, well, maybe he went to McDonald's and then went to the strip club. Sure. Yeah. You don't want to go on an empty stomach. Yeah. And so people most definitely are, are jumping to conclusions and not getting the full picture. Yeah, I think people believe whatever it is that they want to believe. You know, it's like Steve Harvey has such a carefully cultivated image and he's a funny guy like if you see him on family right. feud when you see him on the steve harvey show he's a funny guy kids say the darndest things which he inherited from bill cosby those are big shoes to fill so i think because he's his character is so likable that we assume that the character he plays and because he's so funny and you'd love to have him at a barbecue that means he's a great person in real life but we don't know these people just like how Monique was talking about Oprah Winfrey for years and nobody believed her. They blacklisted her. They demonized her. And now that the color purple is out and all these other actresses are starting to say the same thing. And now it's like, oh, maybe Monique wasn't lying. Maybe she's not a B word. Maybe she was telling the truth, but she was the only one brave enough to say it at that time. Because now Taraji is saying it. So I really, mercy. I don't, I'm not saying believe everybody just flat out anytime they say anything bad about someone. But I would, I would just say. Take it with a grain of salt and don't dismiss it. Just look into right, it. Right, right, right. You, you can't dismiss it because I, I, I even I've gone through conversation this this prior week where people literally jumped to a conclusion that they didn't have the full story of Lord of Mercy. And it didn't make me feel like an owl. <laughs> it made them look as if, oops, yeah. I jumped to the conclusion. I should have right. got the whole story. Oh, Lord of Mercy. Yeah. So out there, please stop jumping to the conclusion, man. But please 
just take out the time to unpack mm-hmm. what's going on in your life and or or and around you and stop believing people that jump into these social the like what do you call it board uh not social cues but these social um boxes right. that um right. um that that people that uh, code of honor that's what you say right. stop thinking that people have these code of honor that they are going to um abide by and right. live by right. the majority of these people are, are are beasts of the field they are and again they have and they, they're the eaters <laughs> they're the going oh no oh no but you have to understand they have millions of dollars of marketing and PR put behind them. Not only not I'm not just talking about Steve Harvey. This is not, you know, crucify Steve Harvey Day. I'm talking about Sean Combs. Yeah, everybody. Uh, everybody. But they so it's so hard to they, see beyond that million dollar veil to see who they really are as a person and what how what kind of dirty laundry they have in their life. You it's hard to find that. It is, but the um, this is more of a personal note for them out there, not necessarily dealing with the external characters, mm-hmm. the but the internal characters that are most definitely in your life. Oh, I see. You like know, the people that are around that are around you that are necessarily playing these games of you know magi and you know switch up uh you know i'm gonna switch up and tell lies mm-hmm, here mm-hmm. because he's not here mm-hmm. Ooh, i'm gonna tell a big lie he over here mm-hmm. manipulators that's they're, the worst they're manipulators they're con artists mm-hmm. and they're some of the most cunning people that you will never yeah. think of that are telling these huge right. lies right. and convincingly convincingly yeah. i mean they the the catfish is what we experience on the internet that's right. the modern day you know con artist and liar but these existed before right. the damn internet right. Right. it existed before the mtv show catfish right so um catfish and, and and also cat williams what he's doing just to get into that or onto that it's 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 basically saying that hey man uh comedians have beef right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh not not only that a lot of them could be hating on each other to do shows in different cities take each other's material take each other's material uh get each other's jobs Mm -hmm. you know i would rather see cat williams on um you know price is right and the rest of these other shows than than, um than funky steve harvey lord of (laughs) mercy I love Cat Williams. He's a genius. Listen, I, listen. I like Cat to you. I like nephew Tommy. Nephew Tommy. Nephew Tommy's funny. Nephew Tommy He's is really dope. Really funny. You know, I like. I like. Uh, uh, l- listen, I like Steve Harvey too as well. But he most definitely get roasted too. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know what? You know what? Really, Cat is doing. He's really putting out what's really going on in the world. Of, he reminds me of a 50 cents you know what i mean oh, yeah. like how 50 cent basically started his career is basically talking about everyone but it <laughs> he after, had beef with everybody yeah he got he had the song he had beef with everyone but check it what that ended up doing after he got the calls from hey man i thought we was cool what you talking about me on the on the song for 50 was like hey hold on hold on listen homie <laughs> Every time I say your name, I'm actually promoting you. Right. I'm doing you a favor, bro. <laughs> so don't you dare right. come at me. Right. I'm one of the biggest artists now. So anything that I say, right. people are going to hear. Right. So you're welcome. <laughs> you should be thanking me. Your numbers me. was down until you hollered at me. <laughs> Will Smith, Chris right. Rock. Right. Hello. What Chris Rock Hello. was getting, I think that Thirty said he was getting a uh, hundred, fifty dollars to a hundred dollars right. a show before right. he, before he got slapped. Right, he was performing in strip clubs, and now he has a. Now a, he get fifty thousand, fifty thousand a show, say a hundred thousand a show. Yeah. Now he has a Netflix special, and it's all centered around the slap heard across the world. Lord have mercy. Come on, that he, slap- he cried all the way to the bank. Right, he he, he <laughs> took one for the team. <laughs> right. That literally jump started his career again. Yeah, man. So, yo, man, thank you for 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 most definitely coming to our show. This is the real people of the internet. My name is X. My co-host name is Z. Z. And we're coming at you, man, with this show. Um, we we most definitely want you to continue to keep subscribing, continue to keep smashing that like button, but most definitely continue to keep engaging. We set up this platform to engage, man. We set this up not to get likes, not to get YouTube bucks. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm a capitalist too. I'm not trying to not get no bucks now. Right. Don't be an idiot. But but <laughs> listen, listen. My our our goal is not YouTube. 
YouTube is the blessing, is a platform, mm -hmm. no doubt. But our goal is, uh, you know, Coca-Cola in the in the videos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> our goal is having some BlackRock investments right there on the on the screen. Right, affiliate our, marketing. Our goal is having Vanguard in the back, posted up. Oh. You know, uh, um, promoting that. Lord of mercy. Oh. Our goal is, you know, it's not these. Uh, you know, these like these like bucks, you know what I mean? It's not the like bucks. But whatever buck we, we have, we're gonna take it. Lord have mercy. Right. We'll cash all the checks. Yeah, well I'm, I'm cashing all these checks, I mean. <laughs> but I'm I'm just out there to let you know, man, it's really about engagement. It's really about throwing yourself out there. It's really about knowing that somebody's hearing you. It's really you know, and at this station we do. When when we're in those comments, we're actually commenting to you. This is not just uh, oh, nobody's going to comment to me when I see all this inflammatory stuff. <laughs> nah, son. We are going to most definitely be there with you in the comments, and we're going to go back and forth. You're going to ask me questions? I'm going to ask you questions. A lot of questions I get about the uh, the validity mm -hmm. of the video. Lord right, have mercy. Right. Is like this all real? These, yeah, Is it real? Yeah, like all these people are, are producers or right. something. Were you there? Who's taking the camera footage? Who what? has? That's a great question. <laughs> It's not my video. Yeah, like <laughs> who was actually at the scene and right. who, who who pulled the the you know the right. the light over and right. stopped? Who dressed her that day right. and who took her makeup up that <laughs> right. way? And y'all should know better than yourself. They should be doing this. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. We appreciate it. We we, we appreciate love the level of care you have in right, our videos. Right, 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 right. But the right. answer is we don't know. <laughs> we don't know, dude. So most definitely, man, get back at us. This is the real people of the internet. If you want to know where real people are, we're right here. Real conversations, real people, real, you know, real events, real things that happen out there in your world so we can most definitely be a part. Other than that, we're out, man. This is a wonderful show with Z. I'm Audi 5000. Three quick points. Three quick. You mean in Hollywood, they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds. That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. He was going to play the pimp. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? <laughs>